Right, today what I've done is, as you I haven't got much time today, so you see the high, I mean lower number high, a P60, P and lower it down, and then um, I want to use the next number, which is 100, and then 150 sandpaper. So make it as smooth. And after that, what we've done is yeah, clean it with the water. Let it dry. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's nice and clean, but uh, it does need one more filling on top. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a one primer coat, and then I'm going to um, yeah, this one I'm going to work on next time. I mean, I, I just put the water and clean and dust free done it a bit early today so it's ready for paint what I'm going to do I'm going to cover this up with a tape or something like that uh, so the paint won't go in here and then uh, do a one coat of primer and then uh, smooth enough um, you can't expect professional but anyway once you paint it done it, it's not going to appear anyway um, so I'm going to do the one coat of primer. Um, I'm going to use it. You can either cover all this bit up with a paper. You can put a newspaper, you know, just to make a hole in it and tape it up. Or what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a, a, one of the cardboard pieces to hold it on top, uh, on the side, so the paint won't get in there. So when I'm spraying it, I'm going to hold up board on the side and then I'm going to paint it. Um, uh, and then once I've done the primer coat, leave it to dry, and then I will see um, how I'm going to do with the next coat and all this. Uh, here, um, it's it's done a good job, but the thing is, um, it's not in the shape, so it's a little bit of bumper here. So the, the paper, sandpaper, which is uh, P60. It's not strong enough. It's from pound land, so it's not strong enough to do the job. So I need to get the uh, the uh, the stronger ones to wrap this up, this bit here, to make the the shape, and then refill it up the cap. And then I'm going to make it shiny like this before I do the primer. Um, yeah, let me get prepared for the primer work, and then I'll. Yeah, I got this. Primer here. This is the normal articulate primer. Um, and then it says in here you have to shake it at least for uh, two minutes. Um, yeah, I've done it. So that should give a good. So now, I'm going to paint it over. Um, let's see, this is, shouldn't happen. Tip. So, if that happens, I'm going to just give a quick wipe with the tissue. Take that off. Yeah, take that off. But anyway, I'm going to do the uh, the sandpaper over it after it get dry. But I just do it here. So when you're painting it, so you can't do like you can't put it in one place. You have to keep the safe distance, it can't be too far, and then it has to be quick movements when you do it. But when you do a quick movement, it doesn't appear to be painted, but you have to let it dry until, um, you know, get ready for the next cold on top. But that's why I'm going to use this board here. So when I'm painting it, so it has to be quicker, so when I move, up and downs, so it doesn't go on the uh, this uh, here, this bit here. So it's only going to go. So if I if I do it here, so for example, so I got to do quick, nice and easy. Yep. So. The space is wider and then bigger if you want to paint the whole door and all this 
you have enough uh, space to move around smooth so you can make it smooth densely but this one hasn't got enough space in it so it has to be cover it up ideally fully but I haven't got time to get the newspaper or the masking tape today but I will do it in the future uh, but uh, because of that I'm just using this bit at least to cover it up but it's only a just a normal coat um, so that to cover the holes and all this and then after that I will be doing it what they call um, sandpaper of it again 150 and then again one more coat and all this so it's going to take a little bit more time to dry and all this so I'm just doing it this bit here for now and I'll, I'll come back when I'm finished oh, done the painting I covered this bit off with a piece of tape and all that um, again I haven't got the masking tape so I just used to what I have and cover it up because these caps uh, need to be painted inside corrosion so just primary it up so again this one is this is why I said like because there's enough room to spray it faster so I had to do it slowly so that's start tipping it but anyway I'm going to be sand it down and um, refill it just just one more fillery up before uh, another primer uh, just but when I'm doing the filling again it'll be just quicker just wipe it off and then fill them the tiny holes if you can see um, it's hard to even see it um, so and then do it again. This side also almost ready for pain. I just wash it earlier, but I'm gonna go over it a very light coat and let it dry, and then sand it up, and then do one more coat uh, later. And I'm gonna finish up with today. Right, done light coat. Can you see? What I use is, I use this bit here so I can I'll hold it against the wherever I want to go and I just gently move around so that so you can be able to see all the expand or everything all over the place. So um, that's why you said you want to do, you just cut a piece of England and put it outside and so when you wrap it up the paper it will be get smaller and smaller and then yeah especially here um, it's really helpful and then uh, yeah so next after dry do one more 150 sandpaper over it and then um, fill whatever See, it's all been dry even quick. Um, yeah, then just making it smoother and the last primer coat and then paint it over it. Done. And then that one has to be sorted and the other side has to be done the same. Uh, probably maybe in another video.